Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, family, students, and friends, I want, I want first to thank you for being here to celebrate with me today. Being chosen as a candidate for Sacramento County Teacher of the Year is unquestionably the most extraordinary honor of my career next to winning the state championship. I hope I didn't blind you all. All right. All right. I teach for many reasons. The primary one is that education is the way that society perpetuates itself. While families pass on their lineage through procreation, cultures transmit their tradition, beliefs, and knowledge through the institutions known as the school. School is a child's first serious contact with the world outside of his or her family home and is therefore of vital importance to every young person. It is fair and logical to state that after the family, the school is the most essential part or essential aspect of a person's life until, of course, they become grown and make their own decisions, okay? But uh, the places, this place is an immense responsibility on a teacher who has the potential to have a profound and permanent impact on the child's development. The role I play as an exemplary teacher, educator, is to promote education for life. Never make excuses why a child can't be successful. Motivate students to be academically involved. And most importantly, I model the passion for education on an everyday basis. But I'm going to be honest with you. Enough of that serious stuff. I'm going to talk last week. <laughs> Me? coming to education, when I walked into elementary school, problem child didn't have nothing on me. <laughs> I had stacks of conduct notices up to here. My parents always had to come to school every other day. Reggie did this, Reggie did that, Reggie did this, Reggie did that. I haven't had teachers telling my parents I was not gonna graduate from elementary school. <laughs> then I went to middle school. Those teachers said the same thing. But what they didn't know, they didn't know me. Because every time they would say he wouldn't, he's not graduating from elementary school, he's not graduating from middle school, they kept making me take these tests and they made me pop pills, you know, when you're hyper, you know, the uh, was it Ritalin? <laughs> okay? They couldn't figure me out. But what it was was I wanted my family to be together. And so, as a teacher, I go beyond the average expectations of an educator. If I don't see the phone numbers, phone numbers bad, guess what? <laughs> Ding dong, how you doing? I'm Coach Harris. We got we the situation we need to solve. Johnny or Cynthia, they're not, on, they're not on task. I need your help. I'm on your team. And they look at me like, Coach Harrison came to my house. Yeah, I make house calls too. <laughs> and so with that, in the Del Paso Heights community, I connect myself with that community. So some of my students, I know their aunties, their grandmama, their uncle, their second cousin sometimes. <laughs> but I'm going to make contact with the family. So I share 
this candidacy with my beloved students, some of whom are here tonight. For without them, none of what I do would have any meaning. I also wish to thank my fellow teachers at Grant Union High School, my administrative team. Way to go, dog. <laughs> thank you. Twin Rivers Unified School District superintendents, associate superintendents. If I missed anybody, I apologize. School board members, I really appreciate you being here. Most especially, my dear wife, Rena. My three, <laughs> we have three sons. Savion, he's at football practice in Roseville. Christian, and my uh, four-month-old, Donovan. You are all, all of you, all of you here. You're all jewels sparkling in the sun. I love you all. And I thank you for being a part of this team in this room. Thank you. 